Hi, everyone of Eve here from the band Jacob the Horse. Uh, I just wanted to make a little reaction video reacting to the reaction video called Reacting to 666 Chicks by Jacob the Horse. And that video is by Jake Taylor. So so let's let's give it a shot. Let's let's get right into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another reaction video. Uh, this is going to be kind of a unique one. And as always with these reactions, it is kind videos, of a unique one. This, unique one. this is the first time that this has ever so, happened to me. Uh, Smosh. A YouTube channel, a proper yes. good one. Uh, they originally brought Anthony proper good one. to the fold, and they now own Smoshy and an Anthony to do, which is cool. Uh, one of the people that they hired in the past couple of years is a production assistant or music guy or something is a guy named Josh Flurry, who I follow in. Okay, let's pause right Josh here. Has- Josh is actually an editor for Smosh, but he does do a lot of music stuff, and uh, he, he's been full-time at Smosh for a couple of years now, and he, he loves it there. There's a band named Jacob the Horse. I've heard one of their previous Josh songs. Josh does have a band uh, named Jacob the Horse. Uh, single, though, and I'm specifically listening to the song because the music video is about a minute longer, and it's titled 666. Yes, yeah, so we did a little so sketch the before the, the song horse, starts in the music trophy. video. I really fucking hope that's the case because that is okay. incredible if that's a reference to uh, Jacob the Horse from Drawfee. Let's, so, let's pause yeah, again. I don't know what Drawfee is. Uh, I apologize. Jacob the Horse is a reference to my dad, whose nickname was Jacob the Horse when he was young. But uh, that was back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, I don't know what Drawfee is, but please let me know. We're just going to go into this as always. Uh, I would put up the spoiler for any sensitive content, but like, you know, there's some blood on the scissors, but it's just a still frame of like the. The music video so does have that. some sensitive content in it. Specifically, some below. gore. So I'll put a link to the scr- uh, in the description to the music video as well because, you know, you might prefer to watch that. I just want the actual. Like, I recommend song, watching so, the music uh, video. Yeah, I've seen clips of the song, though. I think. I directed some it. Some women kill the band and then take over their instrument sole positions and start playing the song. I think that is what exactly happens. what happens in the music video. So so a group of women kill the band, take over our instruments. Good riff. Thanks. That's actually Josh's riff. Josh came to us with that riff and I uh, wrote some lyrics behind it. Hold steady vibe from the vocals. Thank you. Uh, That That Hold Steady is a a favorite band of mine. And uh, and that that's a big inspiration for this song. So that, that's thank you. That's a great compliment. I like the energy of it. Thank you. This is a very unique vocal sake. Like thank you. Oh. Oh hello. I heard that like it's all work. I think that's Josh that does that. By the way, and now he's like that is Josh. A quick solo. It's a short song, so it works. It is a short song. Like that main like drum riff that. Oh, I was back over a fill. That was a good fill. Thanks. That so our drummer's name is Rick, and he comes up with all these drum patterns himself. He's he's a great great drummer. This is a really good riff. Some really good riffs in this song. Thanks. These, all these riffs are Josh's. So right now you're singing along with the song for before you're done listening to the song for the first time, which is one of the goals that we always have when we're writing lyrics to our songs is that they should be eminently sing-alongable. That was a really nice way to go back into the chorus. Thanks. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? For a very short song, I uh, had a lot of really strong points to it. I quite liked uh, a lot of how it was built. Thanks. Goddamn advert, fuck off. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Uh, yeah, no, I liked how it was done. Um, I thought it had some really good uh, guitar work on it. I quite liked the drum work. I thought the bass was good. The vocals were probably the most. The bass is great. To me. They were quite unique in their delivery. Thank they did you. Have that sort of vibe of the alt steady to them. 
And if you don't Thank know, you. Alter Diogo, let's do them. They're pretty great bands. Uh, yeah, they I are really pretty great enjoy band. this one. You know, short, sweet banger. Really good, like uh, hard rock energy to it. Uh, good, like sort of indie punk undercurrent as well, which I think really helped things. That's um, what we're going yeah, for. Really many complaints. I wish I could have understood more about the lyrics, but I think it was just like you know maybe about a toxic relationship or sort of just being in, in love with like bad girls and. Okay, let's take a pause right here. So this song is not about a toxic relationship. I'm in a very happy and healthy relationship. This song is about uh, the plight of women in modern society and how uh, 300 years ago we burned witches at the stake and now we're basically doing the same thing and it's time for us all to rise up and start a rebellion to fight for our fellow human beings. Um, one of the lines that uh, is tough to kind of understand is, my grandmother Hannah used to throw Molotov cocktails at Nazis, which is uh, an extremely true statement. So uh, so yeah, uh, I don't blame anyone for thinking that this is about a bad relationship, but this song is definitely about starting the revolution. And uh, the last line of the song is, the time has come to rise as one and wage our finest rebellion, which is stolen from my friend Dan's song, New Rebellion. Dan sings as Spitzer Space Telescope. You know, in, in that boat, I have a certain aesthetic. Um, really enjoyed uh, how it was put out, though. I didn't comment on the music video because obviously I, I directed the music video. video. That's okay if you don't good, watch it. I, I recommend watching it. It's really pretty good. Like it was overtaking anything else. The guitar work is really nice, too. That's really all Josh. Nice about the song. Although the drum riff, that da 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 da. Rick's great. I like that. Uh, structurally wise, you know, short song. But short it song. It really nicely. I feel like the end was maybe a bit flat. It could have gone maybe a little bit longer. Who are you, my yeah, mother? I would, liked, I would have liked more of a build on the last chorus, but a very energetic and fun song. Maybe we'll I start really playing. Maybe we'll live. We'll song. start yeah, playing it with an extra chorus at the end. You should definitely go check them out. It's pretty good shit. This and obviously the performances are great too. That'll about do for me though as what's next. Well, tonight the return show for PBW versus AVW. I have the cards sorted. That's going to be six absolute. Bangard matches, got some really good stuff coming up that should lead nicely into Defy the Gods in three weeks time. I don't know I what he's talking about, but check check out Jake so Taylor, because he seems uh, to know what he's talking about. Seen before, there will likely be a Fight the Night review on Sunday. If there's not one, I might do another reaction. I don't really know. Do uh, another we'll reaction. We'll send you our new single coming out at the end of so, November. Yeah, I'll see you all for that. I was just checking the time to see when that would be probably in about four hours ish four and a half hours maybe we'll see but as always thank you for watching you're awesome bye bye thanks we'll jake